להגיד בבוקר חסדך, actually uh, for us here in Jerusalem it's morning, uh, for you uh, it's Monzi Shabbos, uh, night time, uh, so for, for us really it's, it's to say uh, the grace of God and, and uh, to speak about uh, the Hashgacha that guided me back uh, to be um, to, to raise a Jewish family here in Jerusalem with seven kids in the Talmud Torah and to be able to really to really uh, study Torah and, and to, to be abounded with the truth with the real truth after uh, such a journey um, that, that um, being separated uh, for many many years from my own identity but I'm, I'm going back to the story when Steve got back to Israel, then I was invited, I was invited to, uh, to uh, the church to speak. I, I, I didn't come no more to the church, but I was invited by Steve to, to come to the church and to give a lecture on Sunday because I basically he didn't really want to go on and to follow his own father. He told me that he had a conflict. He personally told me, I do have a conflict just like you. And I realized that despite the fact that I was raised uh, in, a, in, 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 in a Christian family, that Judaism probably is the right way. And one day I will have enough courage to, to convert. But for the time being, I cannot give up pork. I cannot give up my habits. You know, I was born and raised Christian. My father was a pastor, and so um, his his mother was expecting him to follow his father and to go on and to minister at the church. But he didn't really want to. He re- realized, just like me, that there is many, many, many conflicts. And he took me aside and he told me, one day I will become a Jew. What are you doing here? How did you l- left the truth behind you, and uh, by despite despite that, uh, that that wake up call of him telling me that he really doesn't understand what I'm doing in the states and why I'm not going back to Jerusalem to live my own life as a Jew, he he was um, the one that arranging the 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 the. Um, schedule the church and on every Sunday uh, instead of uh, standing before the church somebody else used to stand before because he had a plan of of, of uh, how to to slowly and surely leave the position uh, and and maybe uh, allowing somebody else to take over uh, because he had a different plan altogether for his own life and one day I uh, I was invited to the church, to stand before before the church and to explain what what's the tefillin is all about. What's the what's the, that those weird horns of the of the Jews on, on the, the we put and I and I told um, I told uh, of course they know, knew that what's tefillin is all about, but they want me to stand and explain what's bar mitzvah and what's the Jew tradition about the Bar Mitzvah and Tefillin is all about, and may, what what do I know about Tefillin? So, I made a phone call to speak with my my mother, maybe to ask her Tefillin, because I left my Tefillin many years ago in Israel, in my, my family, my, my parents' house. My mother uh, didn't want to speak with me. She was holding the phone, listening to me calling her to, to to respond but she didn't want to answer she already well understood that I that I converted and she was she was already a Haredic woman I didn't know how much suffer I was causing her because only when I when I made a chuva and many years after you know getting getting married, then my my wife told me that my mother knew everything and she 
she was crying and, and praying the Tehillim, and every night she was praying, fasting with her other sisters every week, one, once a week, or sometimes once a month, going to the grave of my father, lighting a, lighting a candle and praying over me. And she knew that she, she is a, in a big big trouble, and me in a big trouble, and praying over me to save, save my soul. And um, basically, she, she, when she found, 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 was able to find out, then she found out probably through people that came from the States to Israel telling her what I'm doing. Um, she didn't want to speak with me, and I found I was a, a very, I felt very uh, unwanted. And I, I made a phone call to my brother in law telling him. I know that my family knows everything by now, but I'm asking you to send me a tefillin. He was very excited. Tefillin? You? You want to put a tefillin? Okay, I'm, I'm sending you a tefillin. I'm going to ship it uh, as soon as possible. A very, very, very uh, expensive tefillin. And uh, uh, so... He sent me a tefillin, very excited. We're sure that I'm about to put a tefillin on a daily basis, but actually I, I needed it only to stand before the church once and to explain what tefillin is all about because I was asked by by the church. So I stood. I, I, I was first thinking I had uh, enough time. I had even I had procrastinated the lecture till I got the tefillin from Israel. But, but then I was thinking to myself, what exactly am I, am, am I telling to agenda people about tefillin? Uh, what, the, they're square in shape? That uh, they're black in color? What can I say uh, that I'm wrapping it around my, my left hand? It's not exactly exciting. It doesn't, Seems so. I thought to myself, I'm not supposed to be aligned with the truth. I'm, I can be creative and 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 think of, think of my own, and 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 maybe try to give a a good show. I don't really care much about the truth, anyways. So why shouldn't I try to uh, please the people and 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 have a a nice show, showing it to fill in while I'm putting it before the church. So, to tell you the truth, it was it was actually uh, a thinking to myself, what do I know about the tefillin? Then I realized that I don't really know much. I can't really tell other people. What, what can I say? What it's been written inside, what, what's written inside, I mean, okay, so I'll say in one word, I have 16 minutes to speak before the church, how how interested could such a lecture be? So um, I realized that when I was in, in the military in Israel, uh, I was in, in the beginning, I was in, in, in Golani unit, and I, I became a para, paramedic. And uh, while I was given a lecture, by the officer telling us how to to do a CPR, I realized that actually it's really um, um, equal to the process of putting it to fill in. The CPR, actually, it's a process that's very similar to putting it to fill in. And that's what I told before the church. You know, I told them, you know, I'm a, I'm a Jew, and, and of course I told them that I'm a Jew that converted to Christianity, and I'm just going to re- represent the tefillin, uh, and, and I'm going to put the tefillin and show them how it looks like. And But first, we start with a talit. We start with a talit. And I was going over my... <laughs> My my child childhood memory, uh, uh, trying to uh, 
trying to uh, see what to see what uh, w what do I know and how can I uh, represent it and uh, I, I I told myself okay then I just gonna say the lecture of the officer and the Israeli military in that same process and show that it's 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 a it's a CPR process like making every, every morning we're we were getting a new life and and we're we were saying modani lefanecha melech chay vekayam. So we're getting, we we're, we're saying thank, thank you God for giving us a new life this morning, and and every morning. So I took I took the talit, and I I opened it up, and I was holding it with my two hands and showing the church the talit, and, and, and I, I was saying you know that the first thing in in the CPR. You're checking first the consciousness, and then if a, a person is not in a, in a in a conscious, then you check his breathing system. Then here is a talent, and I'm, I'm I'm putting it on my back, and then I I'm putting the edge of the talent on my one shoulder uh, um, over my left side of the body, and and the other one on the right side of the body, just against my lungs system. Uh, that's the breathing system. In from four ages of the earth uh, come the come the the wind of 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 of, uh, of God to and, and to breathe the, the death and to Okay, that's Chazon Chazon Yechezkel about the resurrection in the end of time and and and, and God trying Yechezkel in the valley of of, of uh, bones. He was showing him the bones of Israel, the dry bones of Israel, and he was telling him, "Atichiena atzamotay v'shotayle." Are those bones will live? And he told him, "I don't know." He, the prophet responded, I don't know. And then he saw uh, the, um, the process of resurrection. He saw the wind coming from four ways, from four sides, and then breathing the death and, and how they're, how they're uh, standing and, and, and uh, starting to live. So basically I was telling to the church that putting a talit, it's just like a breathing system because... We put it against our lungs. We have two, two lungs on the left side and the right side, and then, and then we we fold the talit right on them. And um, okay, so we start with a breathing system, and then we have to check uh, whether we have a heartbeat or not in, in our ne neck. We, we 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 search for the heartbeat, and uh, because. Uh, we we have to see whether the blood are coming to the to the mind to the to the brain or not. Then uh, if we, if we don't have a heartbeat in a, a carotid, then um, we, we don't have a heartbeat. So then we we have to start with the process of uh, of uh, press, pressing the chest and 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 uh, and, uh, and trying to. Uh, make the heart work again so against such a process after after dealing with the breathing system we have to deal with with the heart with the blood system but the center cent, the central place of the blood system basically it's the heart making him work again so I have to press against the chest and, and to to give some uh, uh, fifteen uh, uh, pressures. Uh, so um, basically, we as a Jew also putting a tefillin on the left arm uh, um, and 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 turning the the head of the tefillin against our heart, 
and it's been written inside ve'ahavta et Hashem elokecha bechol avavcha, meaning love your God with all your heart, with all your. So it's 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 just remind us the the blood system, the heart system, the tefillin on our hand on the left hand side because the heart have a turn, a slight turn to the left. Putting a tefillin on the, on the left arm and turning the head of the tefillin toward the heart and, and, and understanding what's being written inside, meaning, meaning uh, 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 working on the heart system at the right time of the CPR, right after the lung system. By saying, by the way, by saying moderne, we are just like checking us consciousness. It's just, okay, thank you, God, that I'm awake, that I'm alive, that I'm aware, that I... It's just it's checking that, and that's the process, moderni. And then you put, afterward, after the blessing of the shachrit, you, know, you put the talit, and taking care of the breathing system, and then taking care of the blood system. But then, I was saying, I was putting it to feeling while I was explaining it. And not even having a slight intention to make the mitzvah. I was in the middle. I was in the church, standing there, and and not considering really the word of God, but but trying to please Gentile people that was listening. And and saying, you know, as a paramedic, I cannot decide. You cannot decide if he's a dead per- person or not. The doctor is supposed to make the decision. And in the field, you have few signs by looking in his eyes and seeing what's, whether you have a brain wave or not, or uh, in, in the hospital whether whether the the patient have a a brain wave or not. Basically. By by the lung doesn't doesn't by the the, uh, the 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 patient doesn't breathe or doesn't doesn't have a heartbeat. It doesn't mean that he's a dead person. It can that can be a near death experience, or, uh, like we call okay. Uh, it can it can can be it's a near death, but it's not a death. That is not a dead person, because maybe maybe you have a, a brain wave. So how we afterward we have to go further and put it to fill in on our hand, or on, on our head. So we put it to fill in between our eyes, on our head, on a certain place, a place where a baby have it open, the bones, the scale, the scale, uh, uh, scale of the of the of the of the. Of the of the head of the of the baby is being open right there and slowly after a few months getting it become close and and and, and close more and more uh, till we have it uh, complete but still that's the most open place in our uh, uh, scale our, uh, on our head and then we put the tefillin right there. But we have to understand that there is a big similarity between the in our head we have in our head we have the the, the big uh, uh, brain and the small brain and and the left side of each one of them control the 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 right side of the body and and the right side of the brain control the left side of the body, and actually. Actually, we have like four parts: the big brain, the small brain, the left side, the right side of each one of them. Four parts. In the tefillin, we have four spaces, and inside we have four. Four uh, parasha on 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 the cloth. So, and basically, when we search the mind, and we know according to the research of the mind, we have 
four different kind of uh, brain waves, just like the parasha, four parashiyot inside the tefillin. We have four four uh, spaces, four uh, rooms to put the parasha. So, in the same way, we have it in our mind. It's 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 a a room from little room for for each mind. Just against it, it's just an equal thing, a comparable uh, 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 in a comparable way. And then we have a kesher of a tefillin, a tie in the back against our uh, our geza ma, which is uh, uh, in our back, right in our neck, against our neck. And, and I was saying. While I was putting it to fill in, and, and and I started to to describe how uh, the two uh, two uh, wires that we have and we put in the front, one of them is supposed to 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 uh, reach the middle of the body, and the other one all the way. And and uh, what's the purpose of it? And and to try to describe a little more details about it. And. And the, the the when I finish and I was standing before the church, uh, I got I got the the church clapping, and and being impressed by by um, despite the fact that I, you know, I have a, a, an Israeli accent and I was not much fluent in Hebrew, but they were really trying hard to understand what I was saying. Uh, and and uh, they they start to clap and and, and got excited and, and start to shout hallelujah hallelujah. And one of the women, old women in, in in the church, was sitting in the back of the church. She raised her hand and she asked me a few questions, and I couldn't really. I was trying to explain uh, what I knew, and she asked me. Are you dying every day, and and you wake up, so you you're 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 supposed to what to have to CPR every every morning? Why us as a Gentiles? We don't need it. So I told her what I thought that a rabbi will answer, and I a little got into a trouble because it was my concept. And I told her, you know, a Jewish person have a spiritual part uh, uh, just not exactly like you have but in you have a spiritual part and uh, a soul and you have a spiritual soul but to be abounded with that spiritual part just like uh you you charge the 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 telephone or telephone uh, a telephone whatever uh, then again they charge their spirit to be united with uh, with uh, the soul, to be united with God by tying, by putting the um, to fill in. So um, it's a it's a charge of a, a empowering the soul every morning and 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 having just like a, a, a CPR, having more life, more spiritual life. And empowering the spiritual life, and by by going to sleep, it's just like it's equal like dying. It's equal in a way. There, it's 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 not the same, but it's something. And and by waking up, it's just like raising a record from the death. So it's similar in a way. Uh, it's a portion of it. Uh, so um, people started to clap again, and and then she asked to to come to the front and to stand uh, by me, and she wanted to say something to the audience, to the church. And so everybody was excited, and 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 I don't know who that woman was. I I didn't know her, but uh, 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 one of the pastors, Frank, he probably was. Uh, was he uh, uh, Frank, or I don't know if it's, I don't recall whether it's uh, Steve or Frank, one of them, uh, he helped her uh, to stand and, and to come to the front. She was a very old uh, woman, 
and she stood, she stood before the audience. <clears throat> and then uh, uh, she stood by me. I was already with a tefillin on my head, on my hand, and a tallit, and standing and, 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 and uh, don't know exactly how things will go on from now. Um, I, I was about to finish my lecture, and then she asked the church uh, a permission, and she was shouting, in the name of the church, um, I, I'm asking a permission to hold the edge of the tallit of Daniel. So I didn't know um, why not, so I, I gave her the age of the talit, and she held the age of the talit, she raised it above her head, and she started to start to shout, Hallelujah, but, and waving the age of the talit, and, and saying, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, all the church started to shout, Hallelujah, to respond.